here's the Timolo State Park, and we're at the wheelchair accessible unit. Okay, well, here's the caregiver. Nice big tree right here, yep. Almost flipped on that one. The bush needs to be thickens. Here's your ramp into your yurt. One thing about yurts is they do not have bathrooms. Which, I mean, it's better than camping in a tent, because that's almost impossible. Porch is pretty nice. Don't want to roll off that way. Oh, sir. Got my little desk out here. All right, let's go inside. Nice, easy door. A uh, window in it, like a window. Yeah, fire extinguisher. Got this futon bed that folds out, double bed size. Put a couple of mattresses. Get yourself up to your height. Foam. Oh, you got a heater and a nice heater. Put that nice little table. You can move that around. Put it on the other side if you want. Couple chairs there. Got that double bed down at the bottom. Top bunk, single bed. Not bad. The space in here feels amazing. It's really tall and there's like a glass bubble at the top. I'm chewing my toothbrush. So I'm getting ready for bed. It's almost time. Night night. I'm so grateful to have somebody else help me every day showing up get me out of bed so I can do the things I dream about through the night every couple hours I have to be turned from side to side during the night every day somebody else brushes my teeth combs my hair shaves my face dresses me pulls my pants on every day somebody lifts me out of my bed Gives me a big bear hug. I like hugs. Puts me in my wheelchair. Straightens me up. Don't mess with Alana. Locks my knees. Pushes me back. So I can sit up straight. She's gotta pull my ribs over. So my curvature is straight, helps in breathing, digestion, gives me my chin control so I can move my chair and give her some space. Puts my feet rests on, slides them into place, my shoes on, pulls my pants down, leans me forward. Get my butt realigned. Back is straight. Starts my coat. One arm leans me forward. Pushes around. The other side. Getting ready to go on a venture. Reach through the sleeve. That's my favorite tree. Grab my hand. Favorite tree is a hundred rows of Pull it through. Don't break fingers. Don't tear fingernails. Straighten everything up. Put the zipper in the middle, zipper up, straighten it out good, get the wrinkles out. Out on. Got to look a little buff. Camping lucky hat. Alana made it, knitted it. You know, it's so warm, it's made out of wool. You know why? It just, because it's made out of wool. The more you wear it, the softer it gets. Pulls my hands straight. Stays warm, even Fluffs wet. Fluffs out my pants a little bit. Hot water, tea, coffee makers. Make sure everything's straight so I'm looking good. I love it when people make sure others in chairs that they get ready look good. Then it's time for animal inspection.
drink that coffee in the morning. Yeah. Time to go for a little ride. Emotional motional sweater. Wheelchair accessible. Your front oh, looks yeah. like. And got to push the tent. And up. Got a wheelchair. Got a wheelchair barrier here, people. You gotta go bad. You ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Definitely want to bring a porta potty when you stay in a yurt. Beautiful up here. This would be a perfect place for a wheelchair accessible cabin with a bathroom. Hint, hint. Right here. <laughs> nice one. So we got. Look at that. We got a shower. Wheelchair. Handle down, but I don't think the key pad would work for anybody. Doors rather heavy. Doors wide enough. So you threw this in. Bring this in here. We've got this wall here. So no. We didn't try to call it actually. Yeah, this is going to put it in a little more space, maybe. But the nice thing that handheld shower is supposed to drive coming in backwards. I'll take this look over there. Oh, you made it. It's got a chair back, all the way in the back, and then wash my hair. Of course, I don't have a jacket on. I'm going to wash my hair. I just did wash my hair. The right. heater above you pops on when you come in. The heater's nice. Wheelchair accessible shower up here at Timolo State Park. Beautiful up here. It just needs a little more accessibility. All right, well, this is the area, the courtyard in between all the yurts. And uh, this is a little Tumalo State Park map. You can zoom into that. Pause I'm gonna check out the trails today that are around here. Man, I'd love to be able to request more accessible trails, particularly in a place like this. All right, so you got your kitchen, outside kitchen here. This is real nice and handy. It's all under cover. That's the unit and one other. Is the only two yurts that allow for pets. So most of the pets are going to be in the RVs, obviously, and there's a lot of them. So right through here is the park manager. You get yourself a nice there. Yeah. Firewood, five dollars a bundle. Bring your own firewood if you don't want to pay for it. Let's cruise on across here. This is the most beautiful day ever. Being all sunny and warm. Got the yurt, pet friendly, wheelchair accessible. I think there's only one. Let's go check them out. That is completely wheelchair accessible. Real bumpy on these roads. Of course, any crack in the asphalt causes a problem for people's wheelchair in front. Okay, so here's the yurt. And, uh, it's not considered wheelchair accessible, but so close. Nice little area, level, or anything like that. This one is also not, this speed bump is a real problem for me because around the edge it drops off. I'll show you. Because it's, once your wheels get on it, oh, yeah, it makes you pop a wheel. The ranger are busy at work. Hello. Great on a day like this. Awesome, awesome, awesome tree here. It's just massive. Oh, love that tree. You know of any big trees that are wheelchair accessible, you send a notification my way. Let's all go see it. We got a wheelchair accessible bathroom. I don't know. I have not been in there because I don't actually use the toilet. I really think this could be a premier park for accessibility just because the yurts seem pretty close to being wheelchair accessible. Here's the third one over here. Well, look at all the space. You know, this is the only wheelchair accessible yurt. And that's one great woman of Lana. She makes camping possible. You know, I would pretty much consider that wheelchair accessible. Look at that little teeny the lip. Inside of the yurts are all the same. This is six. Another. Not much. Not much to get up that. It's nice. This one's nice. It has a, a path that 
I would consider wheelchair accessible. Right? And again, it's not wheelchair accessible. You got big trees around here. They did a good job putting the yurts in amongst the trees for shade. I must admit, when I first saw this trail, I got a little excited. It started cruising down, and it was great, except for it ended too soon. But I realized if you just go down and turn left to go like along the river, paved, oh, it'd be so cool. Nice thing about this park is it's only about 15 miles away from the Sisters Organ, Redmond, and Ben. There's so much to see because it does have a long river access, but it's not paved and really hard to get around uh, by wheelchair, as you can see here. But together, you know, we could build the nice trail without much removal of the earth down along the river and back. Day use, camp, you name it. Go to mall. Heading back to my yurt, the one, the only wheelchair accessible yurt so far in Timelo State Park. Here we are on the corridor. One yurt yurt, two yurt yurt, that's mine. Three yurt yurt, four yurt yurt. Get all these wheelchair accessible. Get more options. And maybe a group of spinal cord injuries, you name it. You can use it. Back to doing the kitchen work, which I should have helped. Sorry. But man, look at this sign barrier free that's me that's you let's make it barrier free let's roll this barrier free flowers. trail hey butterfly go take flowers okay my friends thank you for going camping with me at timolo state park in oregon see you on my next roll on ride adventure